Hi guys, I'm Mark from PSI and I'm here to show you how to make infrared illuminators um, which is very very cheap, it costs about £8 uh, UK um, and these help us to see in the dark, we fasten these underneath our cameras what we have converted to see in the dark but you need one of these guys, one of these infrared illuminators and what I'm going to show you to do um, is to how you can build them and what you need really um, within a few minutes um, so what you're going to need really I've got a few things over here um, you're going to need some infrared LEDs these are 10 mil ones um, I actually order my parts from China because you get them in bulk for a couple of pounds it's a lot cheaper these are one chip um, just to um, when you're doing the LEDs uh, there is a positive and a negative to an LED. The positive is the longest arm. It's always the longest arm. Uh, so that's what you need to know. The positive arm on the LED is the longest. Um, and then we've also got, you need a switch, a 9 volt battery, cable connector, your box what you're going to build it into, your 9 volt battery, your soldering iron, you're going to need some solder for that obviously, uh, wire cutters. Um, so what I'm going to show you quickly is how I did some of these bad bad boys, so just remove that one. Um, so what I did here, this is that box there, um, got the box, covered it in um, like a foil tape, that's just to act as a reflector, um, to reflect any lost infrared light into the blackness. Um, so open it up, um, I'll just turn it upside down and show you this one so you can see it. Um, so what you're going to need to do is six LEDs, it all adds up to nine volts. Um, so you need to do your holes, your six holes. Uh, on the side you're going to need to do a hole for your switch, which is there. Um, and that's pretty much it for drilling so it's quite easy you're going to need a hole in the top which side is it the hole there and that's for um your screw thing there what holds it underneath the camera um so once you yeah once you've drilled your holes you need to pop in your leds um so figure out which side you want to put your switch at this one's pretty much in the middle uh so start from your switch side the positive leg goes to the switch, solder the positive leg, bend the negative leg down and that connects to the positive and, and so it goes positive, negative, positive, positive to negative all the way around and you, you're going to be left with one leg which is a negative. Your negative leg connects, you solder that to the black wire on your battery, on your battery connector there, I don't know if you can see it against the black box. Um, I just picked this one up. So your black battery wire there is soldered to the last negative leg um, and the red battery lead there, the red one, goes to the other um, switch, the other leg on the switch. So then that's powered up and then all you do is turn it on. Job done. Um, I won't turn it on, there's no battery in this one. Um, I think that battery is flat there. Um, you probably wouldn't see it. But these LEDs, what I've got, um, are 850s. Don't get the 950s. The 950s will not work. You won't see it through your camera. Get the 850s. These have a 40 degree spread, a 40 degree angle spread. So, like, it's going to spread out like that way, each one. Um, and what you end up with these smaller ones is more of a, like a, a big spotlight over there on the wall like that it, and it, it's pretty cool it's the pretty strong these 10 mil ones actually you only need like i say six um so yeah so that's pretty much all you do it's as easy as that um this one here um this is a double one um i did an event the other night and i wanted a, a wider spread so there's two together there made the own bracket which fits underneath your camera um, that one's got more on obviously there's 12 on that one you've got your six on that one so that's a pretty strong one that that goes pretty well um, I'm just trying to figure out how much this costs I think the box was only cheap it was about £1.40 
20 LEDs from China. We are looking at, I think it's about, it's not much, about three pound, it's really cheap. Uh, you can get five of these little uh, toggle switches as well. Um, again, one pound 80 for five, can't go wrong. Um, you're better off getting these in bulk pack as well, these battery connectors, because you're gonna make a few, if you're anything like me, you will do anyway. Like I say, you've got your soldering iron, what you're gonna need, your solder. Um, this one, I've, this is a pretty cool one. I use the gas soldering iron because it's hot very, very quick when I need it. Um, and then you're going to need to connect it. Um, can't remember what mill it is. Um, just get underneath your camera. Just you could use a long, like threaded, flat screw like that one. Put another nut on the top, and that just tightens it up when you, if it's bit loose on your camera tightens it up to the camera so there we have it it's um pretty easy stuff really once you know how to do it um and once once you've done this you, you're probably better off putting a bit of plastic in it or just over the top of the leds to protect them or a bit of card anything you know anything simple um and there's different ones you can do we have built some uv ones as well well i have should i say in wood so you can do it with UV, it doesn't have to be infrared, but infrared is the ones we all use for the um, cameras. So thanks for watching guys, um, keep coming back, uh, subscribe to my channel please, um, there should be some detail down there. Um, give me the thumbs up, give me a like, um, and I'll keep putting more videos on how to save you some money. Because if you see these on eBay, you'll probably see people selling them for about £30 and it's a lot of money, it only costs about £8 to make them. Um, so yeah, there you have it. Uh, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you soon. Bye bye